have 100 players a day. What we did today at the combine, we didn't have them all together, so it might not look at, like as many, but we, we divided them up. We had offense, we had defense, and everything went smoothly and went well. You know, and I, I thought it was a great job where the NFL, all the guys that was working did a great job getting people in and out of different stations, and, and the players was, oh uh, man, can't ask for a better set of guys to come in here and do what they had to do and, and, and get this thing done. Close to about 35 schools this year, Dick? 35? You know what, I, I never broke that down. I don't want to guesstimate how many it was, but we try to get players who, you know, who, who have either made the all-conference team, all-American team, uh, first team, second team, and, you know, of course, we, 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 are, we do pay attention to all the schools if they got somebody who can play. We, we try not to just get a guy because his school's not represented, but the player, you know, not good enough, but all the players in this, in, in this conference, at every conference, got at least one or two players that, that we felt like could play in this game. This is about opportunity, obviously. It's third year. You guys have been here. You guys preach opportunity every single year you come back here, right? We, we do, and I tell you what, the combine today for me is, is the best that, that we've seen. I know we, this is the second year here in New Orleans. They had one in, in, in Mobile three years ago. But just looking at the athletes, looking at them run, it's, it, it'll be hard pressed. You know, I'm gonna be disappointed to be honest with you, if, if we don't get at least four, four of these kids drafted or a, a free agent or more than that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about just drafted number one. But there's enough kids out there that if you're gonna go free agent, that that should be on somebody football team practice squad. It's just a matter of opportunity. They got to give them the opportunity. You got to quit looking at the school and look at the kids. And I hope the scouts that was here this week did that today and, and, and looked at these kids and gave them a fair evaluation. Is that just what you envisioned three years ago when it started, or, and how much has it grown since? I tell you, to be honest with you, today was a day just sit back and smile, you know, because of how everything went so smooth and see the kids come in and, and you know, just do what they have to do, man. Because this is what it's all about. James, Shaq, and myself, you know, we, we play in this league. The most important thing to us is to give those guys an opportunity to, to be seen. If they can't be seen on the football field, you, you got the career fair. You know, they can go and get a job because at the end of the day, this is just important, the career fair as it is for this Legacy Bowl because we know everybody's not going to get a chance to play at the next level. But you got a chance to get a job with, with one of these companies, or one of these teams. Mm -hmm. When you started this three years ago, did you envision that this big so far? And how do you see it going in the future? Wow. You know what? It's, it's hard to see it three, two years ago. It's hard to see it. But let me say this, thanks, thanks to Allstate for, for stepping in, thanks for Patrick Mahomes, thanks for Cool, thanks for Adidas, uh, all the people that have come in here and helped this thing grow. And I think that in itself speaks volume to what we have here. We got something that can grow and we got something that got some staying power. And I think that's the most important thing. You think about the game just in terms of this year's game compared to some of the last two? Yeah, I think I think this year's game gonna be exciting. I, I like the two quarterbacks we got. To be sure, I know we got four quarterbacks, but the two that was up there today, I think has done some things over the season that that excites a lot of people and their, their team. I think the other guys that backup quarterbacks that that are being here, they can play too. I'm looking for the receivers, especially looking for the running back man, just to just do their thing and hopefully the offensive line, D line. Stand up, you know. I think at the end of the day, we're gonna have a good contest. You talked about I think during your speech with the 50, the players that uh, have been invited or on the roster. You said you hope that four of them get drafted this year. At some point, I mean, like the HBCUs are gonna have more than that as you continue to do the Legacy Bowl in this whole week. Well, if, if I said four, let me let me correct it. I say I'm saying at least four. That's yeah. just that's just to make me feel good. You know, <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you, I would like for more than that to get drafted. And I think it's, it's more than four guys that was out there on that field today deserve an opportunity in the National Football League. Hey, Doug, you kind of mentioned, somebody mentioned the quarterback symposium and coaches getting opportunities. Mm -hmm. You look at this hiring cycle in the NFL, just what are your thoughts on this year to, look, to have the more black coaches getting opportunities in that same way? We, we do. We, we did have a lot more black coaches that got an opportunity. The one thing that is missing, and, and I'm going to say this, the one thing that is missing, I'm not saying this because my son is a, a quarterback coach, is quarterback coaches in the National Football League. You look around, there ain't a whole lot of quarterback coaches in this league. I, I can't even think of one right now. I, oh, Baltimore. Baltimore and Cleveland. It's, it's, two, it's two that I know of. But what, what has transpired is what happens when, you know, you get a new eight, uh, offensive coordinator, usually they either got their buddy or somebody they know they bring as the quarterback coach. And that's where I think the that's the, the, the place that 
preventing guys that that want the job that should have a job from not getting the job because whoever the offensive coordinator don't know the guy. And I think we we getting hit in that in that area. But I think the more we do it, the more we talk about it, you know, hopefully down the road it it'll happen. Personally for you, does this week feel good for you? Just trying to help the kids become men and get them you know, not a job or to the NFL. Well, let me tell you this. I think the weather in New Orleans helped us. They feel the same way I feel. Let's get these guys an opportunity. Yeah, I, I really like the fact that, you know, we we come in here for the third time and we're able to do this. And, and the more I come down here, the more I see this, you know, the more James and myself, we don't have to really get dig deep in and be involved in it because with the help of the NFL, with the combine and, and coaching charity, with the Legacy Bowl, it, it makes it that much better for, for all of us just to sit back and relax and see all the kids go out and perform.